In this episode, we connect OBS to StreamerBot and we set up a simple command to change scene. Hello and welcome to StreamerBot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome StreamerBot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. To connect StreamerBot to OBS, you'll need an addition of the WebSocket plugin. This is available here. I'll put a link in the description below and probably pop up a card. When you go to this, you need to go to the latest release. Please note you're looking for 4.9.1. There is WebSocket 5 out, but it is not currently supported by StreamerBot. So once you get 4.9.1, scroll to the very bottom and you've got the Windows installer. You can open that up. You may get prompted by your antivirus may just install like it is here. Fortunately, it picks up the default location for OBS Studio. Go through the default options. I'm going to let it close down OBS for me. And that's installed. So we're going to open up OBS again. And we configure this. So I'm going to let it on private networks in case I need to connect to OBS from a different machine. I'm going to set a password. It doesn't matter, it's just going to be used for this, so I'm going to do a very simple password here. And I'm going to disable the tray alerts, which will pop up in the corner here. So once we set this up, you can change the port if needed. OBS is ready to be connected to by StreamerBot. So if we go to StreamerBot itself, in the settings, sorry, in the OBS tab, we can add in a server. So I'm just going to call it OBS. I'm going to put in the password, which is obviously very simple here. I'm going to set auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect. So this means if OBS closes for some reason, it will automatically try and reconnect. We can then tell it to con connect. Might help if I actually type in the password correctly. You'll see there what happens if you do that wrong. Might put another character in there. There we go, let's try again. And we can see here straight away, it's picked up the current scene, status of the streaming and what sources are in that, that scene. So we know already we are connected to that. Now we're going to explore the kind of actions we can use with this. I'm going to do it to change scene to two, for example, from scene one to scene two. And in sub actions, we have a section for OBS with many different options. If you want to be doing more advanced features which aren't built into StreamerBot, you can use RAW. There's uh, lots of examples in the StreamerBot Discord uh, for that. But at this point, we just want to set the active scene. And again, we're just going to pick the scene. StreamerBot will connect to OBS, see what ones are available. So you can then do that. And you can actually test it as well. So at the moment, scene one, click on the test button. And we can see it switched to scene two. It's selected it there. I've put number one and two on a scene to make it easy to, to show. So we know the action works. There's many different commands you can do, but we're just doing starting with the most basic of ones. So using command called scene two, moderators can do that. And let's go back to OBS, that's scene one and use command scene two. And there it changes. So you can see it's really simple to connect StreamerBot to OBS and to start creating commands. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. 
If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to stream a bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.